What's up everyone? This is Dobby from New World and I wanted to make make this video for anybody who's maybe about to hit 60 or just hit 60 and is thinking about grinding out their faction gear. I feel like the easiest way to do this is through the PvP faction quest and I think I've locked down a pretty efficient route here. Uh, as you can see, I've done this a lot myself. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pieces of faction gear. I don't know, that's maybe close to 200,000 credits. It's a lot. But uh, here I am at Reek Water, and um, I'd recommend this to anybody who's maybe 58, 59, just closing in on 60. I would just spam this out, make sure that you can uh, load up to fi uh, 50,000 tokens so you can buy all your rewards that you want going into level 60. This will get your gear score up and you'll feel a great power spike when you hit 60. So I definitely, I would definitely recommend doing this like at 58, 59. That way you'll hit 60 and you can just equip this gear right away. Um, I had been trying to do this over in, uh, where was I? I was, I was trying to do this over in, uh, Great Cleave in the snowy area and it's good over there. Uh, maybe you guys on a lower population server would have a better time with it, but I'm playing on a pretty populated server. I'm on Yggdrasil on, uh, NA West and, uh, I was noticing there's just a lot of PKing going on here, a lot of faction fighting and, uh. You know, when I'm trying to clear out these quests, you know, I'm, I'm trying to be efficient about it. And this didn't feel like the most efficient spot for me. So here is the most efficient spot that I found. Um, and I kind of have a weird method. Obviously, there's three PvP quests that you can take. However, for the run that I do, I only take these two. So yeah, I just go ahead and I, uh, I only select these two. I've gone ahead and weighed the difference between doing just two versus three. And... The difference is just marginal. Uh, I think you can get close to 10 runs in in an hour if you're only doing two, and it's something like seven runs in in an hour if you're doing all three. And in terms of the XP, uh, it, it doesn't really end up being that much more if you're doing all three. Um, especially, uh, reason being, is if there's other players doing the quest there, uh, th this third mission I don't pick up is to kill five boars. If there's other people doing this quest, those boars are on respawn and you're waiting even longer. So the way that I'm doing it is you just pick up these two and you run in one direction and run back. It's dead easy. You end up getting about uh, 3.3, uh, 3,350 uh, creds at the end of it. And uh, from what I've seen is that I can do it in about six and a half minutes. So I'm just gonna run through it right now. Uh, pick up those quests, you head in this, this direction. I guess while I run, I'll kinda show you here we're going to be heading over here to the uh i guess it's the sixth quest that's pinned on my thing another reason that i like doing it in this area rather than uh the snowy zone gosh i keep forgetting the name of it rather than in uh great cleave is that um great cleave the terrain is wide open and maybe that's the reason why there's so much pking going on up there is it's so wide open you can see people from a mile away and um yeah, and as you can see here, there's super there's a ton of there's tons of coverage, trees everywhere. If there were PVP stuff, man, I almost feel like I could just duck into the woods and it wouldn't be an issue. Um and with that being said, after I kind of get past this point right here, I will kind of shoot through the woods. I don't take the main path. So, I think this coverage kind of lends itself to be advantageous for getting these PVP quests done if you're just trying to do them in an efficient way and not actually not actually engage in any of the PVP. I will say too, you see that I'm doing a lot of roll canceling as I'm running to the spot. I feel like that does speed up the time, you know, maybe an extra, what, 20 seconds or so each run. Maybe that's overshot. Maybe an even just an extra 10 seconds each run. But hey, if you're doing this a lot, like I have been doing it, I think that adds up over time. So I'd suggest, you know, maybe sl uh, swapping in some light gear, even if you're not maining light gear, um, it'll def definitely just speed up the process. If you're doing this in a group with uh, some friends and you notice that the area is pretty abandoned, then I would say maybe go ahead and pick up all three quests. But I'd say given most conditions, um, if you're a solo player like me, you know, I did, I did most of this uh, grind work kind of just by myself. And um, I feel like given those conditions, it's actually better in terms of a min-max to, uh, to just pick up two. So, I'm, so you just head in this direction. I like to just flag it, so kind of can just keep an eye on it. 
head over here. Sorry about that. I'm getting a party invite. I'll just ignore that for the time being. So the first part of the quest is going to be picking up this, uh, what are, what are we calling it? Picking up the experiment results right here. Here, I'll pin this second quest so we can, we can monitor that as well. So we pick up the experiment results and then we're going to be heading east. So this, this next quest doesn't start until you enter like this zone right here. As soon as you see the climb right there pop up on your screen, you'll notice on the right side of my screen where the quest tracker is, that minute and a half starts slowly counting down. And once that gets to zero, you've completed the quest. Like, very, very easy. Here, we're going to ignore mobs here. I'm actually glad I pulled that because this is something I wanted to show you guys. Um, it's nice. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure about that wolf, but the the one that I pulled already is out of range once we get to the uh, drop-off spot. So it's actually a non-issue. He'll he'll oop, he'll run away before you have to do any interactions. As you can see, the second quest is still counting down, and we're about to get to the drop off spot. Drop off the experiment or the access components here. I will say, let's see if I can show you guys. There's a wolf right. Uh, where is it? Right over. Maybe maybe so. Maybe you got. Oh, there it is. That gray wolf. You do not want to pull that gray wolf. So I would stay. Uh, Stay away from that when you're dropping off the results. Uh, if you pull that wolf, I think he pulls two or three other wolves with him, and it's just going to slow down your run a ton. Um, I'm going to stay here on this kind of eastern shore. Uh, I will I will say there were a few runs that I did, just because I did so many. There were a few runs where I got excited, and just maybe I was you know zoning out, watching something on my other monitor, and I left the zone before the timer had ran out on this quest, and I had to double back and waste wasted a few minutes for sure doing that so oop, we're just gonna keep rolling away from that boar and he can just uh he can just go back to his spot so i would yeah just make sure that uh that stabilized quest that we see has two oops see look i almost did it there that stabilized quest there we go now we can go back into this zone just make sure that stabilized quest is finished counting down as long as you're in this kind of short area right here I guess it's off the shore. I guess, what is this? A bank? The hill? Whatever it is. Stay in that area and uh, make sure your, your quest counts down because I don't want you guys having to double 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 back on uh, on that and wasting wasting your time. Cool. And so like, like just that, two quests done. We're going to head back to town. If you're worried about getting PK'd, like, man, you can really find your way off the, off the main road here and you can just kind of stay above... Um, I guess for me, I'm not too worried about that. So I'm, I don't know. I'm just cutting through the marsh right now. It's nice too, because this water doesn't slow you down. You can still do your rolls and stuff through it. So as long as you don't go deep, deep, deep in it, then, um, then yeah, you can just roll through it. No problem. And yeah, I guess I'm making this video just cause you know, I hit 60 a few days ago and I, you know, honestly, I wish I had done this PVP faction gear leading up to it. I think I had only saved up the max 50,000 creds going into when I hit 60 and like I showed you in the beginning of the video I needed close to like 200,000 so realistically if I had just done this start like right when I hit 59 and like done it for the majority of 59 I would have probably been able to ding 60 and just equip all this gear and move on to the next you know the next area that I wanted to hit or whatever but unfortunately I had to spend a little time doing this but um but yeah I mean I guess I discovered this method I think it's a really good method uh, I think that's probably who sent me the group request. Sorry, buddy. Um, and by all means, if you want to kill the boars, kill the boars. Uh, I just think personally for me, it wasn't as fast. Maybe it's because I'm not playing pure DPS. I am running a life staff build. So my DPS isn't as high as some people are. Um, but I, I really do think there's, uh, you know, there's some merit to the fact that by not doing the boars, you're avoiding having to deal with spawn rates. And... Um, and yeah, like, I guess that's the main reason is multiple people are doing this run. Those boars are going to be contested by other people in your faction. So yeah, just ignore them. Um, might seem a little weird to do, but I, I really do think it's faster that way. So cool. We're getting back to town right now. And I didn't have a timer going this time, but I have timed it in the past and I can do it in six, thir uh, six minutes and 30 seconds. I can even do it a little bit faster than that. But you get back to your faction guy. Turn this one in for 1875 credits. Turn this one in for 1500 credits. And then I would just repeat the process, man. This, uh, 
this level 60 faction gear is where it's at. Uh, I mean, you know, it's not the best gear in the game, but when you hit level 60, this stuff is really good. So I would, I would um, definitely recommend you guys picking this stuff up. If it's not statted the way you guys like it, you can go ahead and uh, use these these seals to uh, restat it however however you want. And uh, and yeah, that's my run. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm definitely gonna try to make some uh, some new world content as I play the game and discover new things like this. You know, this isn't the most like mind blowing thing ever, but I do think it's a very efficient run. Okay, I'm gonna bring this up just because uh, I've heard a few people having this. I think it seems like there's a bug in the game where a few people's faction credits are getting stuck at 25,000, which is really unfortunate because you need 50k to buy some of the most expensive stuff in here. Like I had to pay 50, 50k credits for my life staff. Uh, and I think actually all the weapons are 50k credits. So I think there's a bug going around that some people's creds are getting stuck at 25,000, which really sucks because that takes all those expensive items that are above 25,000 and essentially they can't buy them right now. So if you're having that bug, man, I'm sorry. Um, I don't know how to fix it, but I've heard maybe three or four people say that they've had that issue. So, uh, man, I guess, you know, try to dodge that problem, but, um, yeah, I'm going to wrap the video here. I hope you guys are having a blast playing new world. I'm definitely addicted. Uh, got that, got that sweet faction gear on now. I think I might try to find a die for the, uh, for the chest piece, but, um, yeah, I got the medium gear here. I'll equip it cause it looks pretty badass. And yeah, that's the video, guys. So if you have any uh, questions, drop them below. Make sure to like and subscribe. And um, yeah, hope to see you soon. Bye.